What's up, prayer warriors? This your girl, Prophetess Verna London. How y'all doing today? I'm coming to y'all with another video. What's up, warriors? What it do? I miss you guys. I ain't been on here, but oh, I've been working a little bit. Um, trying to make these coins, honey. But anyway, how y'all doing today? Happy Mother's Day. I pray that everybody's having a good Mother's Day. And if you ain't having a good Mother's Day, don't go around trying to spoil nobody else's. Hallelujah. But anyway, I just want to come on and say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And if you are having a hard time, you know, because I know some of our mothers have went on. I want you to know that God loves you. And I want you to know that God can heal you every single place that you are hurting. Amen. I want you to know that God can heal you everywhere you hurt. Amen. That God can heal that broken heart. Look at my shirt, y'all. Proverbs 31, woman. I like that. Proverbs 31, woman. Amen. Are you a Proverbs 31, woman? Hey. We are the warriors. And I want you to know that. God can heal your broken heart. Amen. I want you to know that God did it for me. I know it seems like, and I know because I got on Facebook and I was talking about that. This is a very sensitive subject. Amen. I know this is a very um sensitive subject. But I want you to know that God can heal you everywhere you hurt. He can mend your broken heart. It's not over. You know, just begin to pull down the, the, the impure thoughts, the, the negative thought, the, the negative thoughts that the enemy want to put in your mind. And think on the good times. Think about something that you and your mom would laugh about. Or think about something was, that was her favorite dish or y'all, the favorite, y'all favorite dish or something that connected you to her that can make you smile today they can bring you out and it's okay to cry you know cry crying is a cleansing but god don't want you to stay stuck your mom wouldn't want you to stay stuck or maybe you're just feeling lonely because you have lost a loved one it might not be your mom it could have been your your father or daughter um, a close friend and today is a real sensitive day for whatever reason that mothers they can bring those weary days because that person is not around um your spouse might not be around someone that you really cared about is not around and it, it is making you feel some type of way family i love you and God loves you more. And God is a healer. And he can heal that broken heart. He can mend that heart back together. And I'm not just saying this because y'all done heard my story so many times about me and my mama. And when my mama passed, I didn't know if I was going to make it. I wasn't even in church. I wasn't even thinking about God then. And that was the hardest time in my life. But that what, that's what made me want to give my life to Christ because I felt like I wasn't going to make it without her. I was got so sick. You know me and my mom was tight. And it's been some years, but as I began to get in God and God began to get in me, you know, it well, it didn't happen overnight, but God healed my heart completely. I used to couldn't even talk about my mom without crying. I never visited her grave, none of that, because I couldn't handle it. I didn't know how to handle it. And God brought me through. When I tell you God healed my heart, God healed my heart. He healed my heart completely. You know, it was times I used to be in church, and if Mother's Day or something, since I would get up and run out, you know, because I didn't know how to handle it. Like, I didn't know I was gonna, how I was going to make it without my mom. But when I tell you God came in, he began to heal me. He began to deliver me. He began to set me free. That's why you always hear, hear me talking about being healed and being delivered and being set free. Because, you know, that's how I know God is real. 
God didn't heal me. He delivered me. He set me free. He didn't work miracle signs and wonders in my life. And I know that it was nobody but God. It wasn't man. It was nobody but God is the reason why I am the woman that I am today. That I can stand before you and I can testify that God is a healer. God is a miracle worker. And if he did it for me, he can do it for you. God changed my life. Do you hear me, warriors? And I want you to know that I love you with the love of God. And I stand before you and I tell you no lie. I hear people say, you know, they can never get over the, 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 you know, the passing of a loved one. God can heal you, but you have to allow him to come into your life and heal you, warrior. Allow him to come in. He's knocking at the door saying, I'm here, daughter. I'm here, son. Let me in. And you could take that vocabulary out of your mouth that you will never get over the hurt and the pain of the loss of your mom. I'm here, but here to tell you, yes, you can. But only God can do it. He could take away that hurt. He could take away the pain. And you will remember your mom in a good way. You will be able to talk about your mom without crying. You won't be depressed. You won't be suicidal. You won't live in remorse and anguish and anger. God can take the anger away. He can take the grieving away. Well, you won't grieve yourself to death. Well, you won't be mad and angry all the time. Because I know when my mom passed, I was so angry. I was so distraught. I was sick. I was like, oh my God. I just knew I just couldn't make it without that one. But God began to take that void away. He began to take that place, that spot that I held so near and dear for my mom. God took that pain away. My sister passed. I was like that. My oldest sister, you know, she was older. She ended up, her mind was, got messed up. She ended up on drugs and stuff like that. She just got messed up. I don't know. I was real young when it happened to her. But anyway, she died maybe like seven, eight years ago, if that long. Maybe like seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. And when I tell you, that came in and hit me like a, a rushing wind. All my hair and stuff had came out. But God healed me. He, he, he literally mended my broken heart back together again. Can't nobody do that but God. God can heal you. You don't have to be suicidal. You don't have to be depressed. Because your mom or your loved one that's gone on, they wouldn't want you to live your life like that. They wouldn't want you to be depressed. They wouldn't want you to have nervous breakdowns. They would don't want you to go on in life, you know, thinking that you can't make it without them. You know, because some stuff would come and it would literally knock you off your feet. It will literally knock you off of your feet. Just take your legs completely from un under you in a spiritual sense. Well, you figure like you can't make because there's so much going on in the world. You know, and some things is worse than others. Everything had people having things different. But some people, you know, they loved ones get taken away in the wrong way. You know, but God can still heal you. Because why? Jesus came down and he died for all that. He got near to the cross for all I was saying. He know how you are feeling. They murdered him. So, you mean, God know how, God know what you are feeling. Because he sent his only son down here to die for our sins. And they murdered Jesus. Jesus was murdered. He was ostracized. He was cast down. He was pushed aside. He was rejected. Everything that you feel, and he know how it feels. But he came here to die. He came down here and died for all of that. And I know it's hard. I know you hurting. I know you grieving and you just forgive it to God. Cry out to God and say, God, help me. Deliver me. Set me free from this pain, this agony. You know, and maybe you've experienced something I haven't experienced, but God can still heal you. God is a healer. Go binge watch some of my videos. I tell a lot of my testimonies on there. 
God is a healer. God is a healer. Will you forget about your little one? No. Will you still cry? Yes. But God can heal you. Minute by minute, second by second, he can heal you. Amen. So I want to come on and I want to read the scripture. I don't want you to be depressed. Get around somebody that can make you laugh. Um, get somebody that can love on you. Um, if you feel like you just it's just unbearable, call somebody, talk to somebody. Let God begin to pull down the strongholds in your mind. The strongholds of depression, the strongholds of suicidal thoughts, the strongholds of uh, oppression and grieving and missing your loved ones. Let God begin to pull it down in the name of Jesus. God is real. People like, some people don't believe in God, but I believe in God. I'm a testimony. I'm a living, walking, breathing testimony. God is real because I'm standing here. The way I grew up, baby, it was nobody but God. Nobody. God is real. I don't care what no atheists say. I don't care what no Muslim. God is real, people of God. I'm standing here. I'm a living witness. <laughs> Baby, hey, yonder I see, yonder the double cool see. Hey, baby, God is real. God is real. But you have to open up and try him for yourself. Open up and let him in. People be like, how you know God is real? How you got, how everything got a creator but you? How you think your parents got here? How you think you got here? Everything that was created was created by some. Everything have a creator. This this tablet I'm on, YouTube was created by somebody. This tablet, this phone, this 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 light, this home I'm standing on, this ground, everything has a creator. We have a creator. We are the image of God. And God know everything that we feel. He know everything that we are we we are experiencing down here. In this earth. And I'm here to tell you that God is a healer. God is a healer. But you have to open up and invite him in. If you don't open up and invite him in. You never gonna know. Try him. Try him for yourself. I dare the atheist to try him. I dare the Muslim to try him. I dare the, the person that think they can't make without that loved one. You know, it's something real brutal happen. happen. Something just that, that you just can't get past. I dare you to cry out to God until he completely hears you. I dare you to try him. I dare you to try him. Try Jesus. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, try Jesus, try him, try Jesus. You got to try him to know all about him. You got to try him to see if it's real. Amen. So let me read this scripture. Psalms 144. Wait, let me get my little microphone. Prayer for I got this microphone. This, this microphone stand, yes. <laughs> All right, let me read the scripture. I love y'all. I want y'all to be blessed, amen. I want y'all to know that God is real, amen. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he is whom I trust, and in and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him? A son or the son of man that thou makest account of him. Man is like a vanity. His days are as a shadow that passeth away. 
Life is like a vapor. One minute you can be here and the next minute you're gone. Hallelujah, Lord God. But I want you to know today that God can heal you everywhere you hurt. So whenever that day come and God come to call me home, I'm going to use myself. I don't want to take a chance. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to be ready when Jesus come back for me. Hallelujah. I, want, I don't want to be caught with my work undone. Don't worry about the naysayers. Just get yourself together. Hallelujah, Jesus. Don't worry about what's around you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just begin to get in Jesus' face. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just begin to sit at his feet. Just begin to try him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's waiting on you. Hallelujah. He said, I stand at the door and knock. Will you let me in? Hallelujah. I am here to heal you. Hallelujah. I want you to know that you were predestined. Hallelujah. For this, you was built for this. Hallelujah. For that situation, that problem. You wasn't meant to fight it by yourself. Hallelujah. God want to heal you. He want to pull down the strongholds in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. He wants you to get to know him. He want to get you all by yourself. Hallelujah. He want to hold you. He want to love on you. He want to take the hurt away, the pain away, the bashing away, the rejection away. Hallelujah, Jesus. Of the naysayers. Hallelujah, Jesus. I serve a God. Hallelujah, Jesus. That he can heal you everywhere you hurt. And no devil in here will be able to stop you. Do you hear what I'm telling you today? I want to testify. Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't care what's going on in the world. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you begin to get in God, hallelujah, he will begin to cover you. He will begin to put a shield of protection around you. The God I serve, hallelujah, Jesus. There's nobody like him. Nobody can understand you the way God understands you. Nobody can love you like God loves you. But you have to open up and let him in. He want to heal you today. He wants you to have joy. He wants you to have peace. He wants you to enjoy your life. Hallelujah. You don't have to walk around being sad and mad at the world and mad at your job and mad at this or mad at, mad at that and walking around depressed and oppressed and suicidal and schizophrenic and about to have a nervous breakdown. God will break, break all that off your life. He is the curse breaker. He is a healer. He is a deliverer. He is a miracle-working God. And he has predestined you for this. See how you was built for this. God say, I foreknew you. Huh? You got to have those eagle's wings. Hey, hey. Fly high like the eagles. The eagles fly above the storm. Oh, I'm here to tell you, hallelujah, that God wants to love on you today. He want to meet you right where you at. Will you give him your life today? 
Will you give him your situation today? The joy of the Lord is your strength. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And no demon in here could take that away from you. You got to appreciate life. It's about the kingdom. Do you want to be a part of the kingdom of God? Do you want to be a part of the kingdom of God? Do you want to be a part of the kingdom? The body of Christ. God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you. God is waiting to heal you. He is waiting to deliver you. He is waiting to, to use you in your purpose, in your destiny. Don't give up on your dreams and your visions. Don't give up on you. See, people that got caught up in all this, this foolishness. This one wants you to be jealous, and that one, baby, what you got? That's somebody jealous of. Get in the kingdom. Yeah, it's time off for all this foolishness. This one jealous of that one. Baby, I serve a God that will shit all that down. Huh? God ain't about all that. God is love. But he'll chastise you at the same time. He'll bring you out. But guess what? You want to do your part as well. He's standing at the door and knocking, but you're going to have to open it up and let him in to pull down the strongholds. He want to break generational curses, but will you allow him to break it? He want to build you up, but will you allow the builder in? He want to love on you, but will you allow him to love you? Will you allow him to cast all that stuff out of you? Bitterness and hatred and anger and jealousy and gossip and backbiting. God ain't about all. God want to heal you every way you hurt. He want to give you that joy, that peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, the fruit of the Spirit, love. God said he'll come in one way and he'll send them out seven different ways. But will you allow him to do that? Do you want to be that Proverbs 31 woman? Well, you are far above rubies. Grace. You're like a diamond in the rough. Huh? Jesus. God can bring you out of anything. He did it for me. He could bring you out of a spirit of rejection. God don't need man's permission. Do he look like he need man's permission? God don't need nobody's permission to do what he need to do. He is God all by himself. I don't care who you are and where you live. I don't care what you got. You can be sitting on top of the mountain top. There's nobody greater than God. Nobody. He can meet you, meet you on the mountain top and he can meet you at the bottom. And he could definitely meet you in between. You don't have to be jealous of nobody. 
Because why? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And God has predestined you for your purpose, your destiny, your dream. You could be a man of integrity. Let God do it. A man of valor. A man that cares about how he carries himself. God wants to hear you, but you have to let him in. God ain't about all this foolishness. I ain't got time for foolishness. I'm about my father's business. That's what I'm about. I'm about the kingdom and his word. All this stuff going to pass away, but his word is going to stand with all your degrees, all your knowledge, and all your smarts. Baby, nobody can outsmart God. I don't care who you are and what you got and how much money you got and how much you don't got. Yeah, I'm talking Ebonics. God want to heal you and a demon in hell can't stop it because he is God and he is God all by himself. And I come to encourage you today that you can make it that you can do it. Stop worrying about all that food. Just do what you got to do and move on. Help somebody else and stop worrying about everything else. And those that don't want your help, move on. Everybody can't handle you. Everybody ain't meant to be around you. Who can love you like God? Nobody. Your husband, your mama, your sister, your brother. Nobody. Nobody can take that pain away. Nobody can take that childhood hurt away. That stuff that you go home and you think about when you are all by yourself. Huh? Da -da 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 -da. See, he can bring you out your deepest, darkest. I know he can. I'm a living witness. Your deepest, darkest depression, but you got to want it. Ain't enough to ask. You have to really want it. And you got to believe it. You got to keep the faith. You got to have the faith that he can do it. And your life ain't supposed to look like everybody else's life. Your life is your, not your life. Uniquely yours. Unique. Unique. Uniquely yours. My, my, my life is my life. Unique in its own way. I'm a peculiar person. I'm a chosen generation. Ha. Everybody eat, baby. Everybody can't handle this. Why? Because I'm unique. I'm peculiar. I'm a chosen generation. I'm a child of the Most High God. I'm a daughter. I'm my, I'm my daddy's daughter. Yes. Get in God. Try Him for yourself. Try Him. It says, bow, bow, Thy heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. God say, I wish a devil would. Baby, your enemies will come against you one way, and them demons got to flee seven different ways. And people be like, God ain't this. The word, I don't care. They, the Bible was written by man and everything was built by some man or another down here. But this is positive. Everything about the word of God is positive. 
Nothing is nothing negative about this word. And then it's telling you about the things to come. And it's happening. You can't deny it. If you get in there and read that word, God going to open up your understanding. If you don't know how to read, listen to it on your Bible, on an audio, on a CD. I guarantee you, you're going to hear the things that's going on in the world. You're going to hear it. When you read it, you're going to see yourself. Oh, I'm like this. This is me right here. It's positive. When you go to school, you need books. You need paper. You need pen. How do you think you learn? Somebody wrote them books and you read them. Somebody invented college and you going and you studying. And when you study your career, what you going for, you learn it. And you stay in your lane. But you get what you need to get. Why? Because man has wrote that book as a guidance. How do you think they get all this wisdom and knowledge? That's how you learn. And you mean to tell me you can't learn from the Bible? What is wrong with people? Them demon spirits that I already saw going out. Did you see the video that God allowed me to give that prophetic word? That I wasn't even planning on giving. Go look at the video. It's going to even start it. Them spirits is going out. You got to be ready, ready, ready. My God. Come on, people of God. My God. Shoot out thine arrows and destroy them. Send thine hand from above. Read me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Uphold a pastry and an instrument of ten strings where I sing praise, praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings. It's with a small k. It is he that giveth salvation unto the kings with a small k. Who delivereth David his servant from, from the hurtful sword. Read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grow up. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. That our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after a similitude of a palace. I'm of a royal priesthood. I'm a peculiar person. I'm of a chosen generation. I have been adopted into the kingdom of God. And a demon in hell can't put me out. I'll fight every step of the way. Huh, da 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 Jesus. Oh, hey, young daughter, I see. Baby, I ain't getting put out the kingdom. I ain't getting put out the kingdom, baby. That our garners may be full of, of, of affording all manner of store. That our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. That our oxen may be strong to labor. That there be no breaking in nor going out. That there may be that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people that is in such case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Honda Happy is those people that God is the Lord. And I'm going to get ready to get on up out here. But I wanted to come in and encourage you today. And you can go and study that Psalms. 
that I just wrote. I mean, I just I just read Psalms so 144. Go and study it and read it. Amen. Read it in the KJV. Read it in the Amplified. If you don't have a study Bible, the Amplified Bible will break it down where you can't help but to understand it. It says, Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my great strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle in the spiritual realm. My steadfast loving kindness and my fortress, my high tower and my rescuer, this is the Amplified, my shield, and he is whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. Lord, what is man that you take notice of him? Or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath. His days are like a shadow that passes away, just like a vapor. One minute you here, and the next minute you're gone like a vaporizer. Baby, we got to get it together. One minute I could be here, and the next minute I could be gone. Like a vapor. But will I be ready? Huh? Will Vernal be ready? Will Vernal London be ready? My God, man is like a mere breath. His days are like a shadow that pass away. Bow down your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains and they will smoke. Flash lightning and scatter my enemies. That's so plain and simple. It can't get no simpler. It can't get no simpler than that. It don't matter who for you, who against you. Baby, put it in God's hands. Let God handle that. Huh? Why you get your healing? Why you work on you? Why I work on me? I ain't got time to be worrying about no foolishness. Huh? Lord Father God, we thank you. Lord Father God, we praise you for who you are. Handarabosi. You are the creator of the universe. Handarasi. Handarabosi. You are the creator of the universe and I will worship you. I praise you, oh most high God. I lift you up, hallelujah, for who you are, hallelujah. You are a way maker, hallelujah. You are the Father, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, Father God, I worship you. Sometimes I don't know the words to say, but hallelujah. Lord, Father God, lend your ear unto me. Hallelujah. As I go before you, I don't know about nobody else, but Lord, Father God, I worship you. I praise you. I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. Why? Because it all belongs to you. Because it all belongs to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. It all belongs to him. Hallelujah. It belongs to God. The glory belongs to God. The hallelujahs belong to God. Huh? The hallelujahs belong to him. The almighty. The creator. The lion of the tribe of Judah. That's how your hands go. When you begin to praise God. Your hands and your fingers begin to war high on your behalf. Oh, hallelujah, Lord, I worship you. I give you the glory, I give you the praise. Lord, Father God, I praise, I worship you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Thank 
thank you, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank. I just want to thank. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank. You've been my, been my friend. You've been my friend. Hey, you've been my, you've been my friend. And I just want to thank. And I just want to thank. And I just want to thank you, Lord. They say, who she thinks she is? She ain't no singer, but I'm singing anyway. I just want to thank. I just want to thank. I just want to thank you, Lord. <clears throat> My leaning, leaning pole. My leaning pole. How you know he could be your leaning pole? My leaning, Leaning pole, and I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. see. Healings. 
He's going to rain down blessings. Open up your heart to God. Invite him in so he can begin to heal, deliver, and set you free. He's raining down miracles. He's raining down signs and wonders. My God is a miracle worker. He is a healer. His healing power, his mirror working power. Oh, Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Oh, do you see? Do you want to be filled with the spirit of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues? I dare you to raise up your hands. and tell God to fill you with the spirit of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Honda, I see, let him rain down in you. Honda, that I see in your belly. Honda, that I see. Eh, yonder, that I see. Eh, yonder, oh, under that I see. Under that I see how. Let him rain down on you. Honda, that I see. Eh, yonder, that I see. Eh, yonder, that I see how. Your robo boko see how. Robo boko see. Yonder, that I see. Eh, yonder. Ah, yonder, I see. Yonder, robo boko see how. Yandara see, ye, 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 let it rain down in your life. Let it rain down in your life. Nobody could do you like God do you. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Handara bossi. Handara si. Ooh, I can't wait till God just begin to open up doors. Ooh, baby, get ready. I'm ready. Baby, I ooh. Ooh, baby, baby, baby. Hey, I, ooh, yes, Lord God. Hey, ooh, ooh, I can't wait. Jesus, I'm the oh, the little boy called. Hey, I'm 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 the little boy and that I see and the robo cosy. I can't wait. Ooh. Ooh, huh? That I, ooh, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard what God is getting ready to do. Oh, huh? That robo, they gonna say, How? you gonna be able to look back and say, It was nobody but God. It was nobody but God. Ha, 
Andarabuko, see, Andarara, see, it was nobody but God. Hey, Jesus, get ready. When you open up and let God in, get ready for your miracle. Get ready for your harvest. Ha, yandara, see, yandara, roboko, see. Ah, oh, Jesus. Nobody but God. God gonna do it. And I'm out. See you later, prayer warriors. Love y'all.